Sunday of a brand new year, a brand new decade, amen, new life, amen, everything is made new, amen, and I just love God, amen, and with all the excitement that is going on in and around our church, how the Lord is growing this ministry, come on, clap your hands and give God praise, and that's the reason why we're here today, Amen. We're celebrating growth in the ministry. Hallelujah. Y'all might not be as happy as I am, but I'm celebrating. Amen. There may be some that are out right now. Amen. But I'm celebrating growth right now. Amen. So today, we come today to present. We come, to, I'm going to ask you, fellow quick, would come and assist me at this time. We're celebrating growth. Amen. Within the ministry. Amen. There are some that have joined our church. Amen. And they have completed our new members orientation. Amen. So we come today, we come today, we want to present to them, amen, out of the certificates which they have earned. And we're going to read one for you today. 
He bless you, Ella Quick. Amen. We're just so thankful today. The new member certificate, amen, it reads Church of God in Christ. Amen. Certificate of Church Membership. This certificate, amen, certifies that Sister Sharon Dennis, amen, has publicly confessed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and has been received into the full membership of the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. 1217 West 22nd Street here in the city of North Little Rock State of Arkansas on this 12th day of January in the year of 2020 signed by yours truly. Amen. So as we call your name, amen, if you would just come, amen, and we're going to present to you your certificate. Sister Sharon Dennis, is she here today? Amen. Her mother is receiving her certificate. Let's say amen to her as she comes. Amen. Also, also today we have membership certificate for the elder Frank Vanderbilt. Come on, by the way, let's go with the Lord. God bless you, Amen, Elder Vanderbilt. Hallelujah. New membership, Amen, certificate. Also for Sister Beverly Vanderbilt. Come on, come on. Hallelujah to God be the glory. I see great things. Y'all don't know this is a praying woman of God. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sister Vanderbilt. Congratulations. All right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Look at the Lord. New member certificate, Sister Linda Gray. Hallelujah. Y'all don't know, amen. She made me preach just a little bit harder when I hear somebody telling me to go ahead. Amen. That encouraged me to keep on preaching. God bless you, Sister Gray. God bless you. Glad to have you. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Hallelujah. New member certificate. Amen. Sister Jennifer Beasley. Amen. This young lady just hit the ground running. Amen. Come on, you can come right there, Sister Beasley. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. My, 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 my. Hey. My God. New member certificate, amen, from Brother Gary Connors. Brother Gary Connors. Hallelujah. Thank God for Brother Connors. Amen. His sister, amen, is coming to receive, amen, his certificate. Thank you, Sister Connor. I'm sorry, Sister Bell. Don't get me, Brother Bell. Amen. Amen. Can we celebrate them all again? Amen. Great new by the way. Thank God for growth. I see us in the future. And we look much better than we do right now. Help me say more. Say more breath, more, more power. More power. 2020.
gracious Father in heaven, Lord, we come once again just to say thank you, God. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, oh God. We thank you for giving us this the second Sunday in the brand new year, God. Many didn't make it. Some thought they wouldn't make it, God. But I thank you, God, that I was one of the ones who did. Nothing but your grace, nothing but your mercy, oh God, that has brought us. Father, I pray right now, God, that you would uh, speak through me, oh God. Allow preach teaching to be easy today, God. Oh God, use me for your glory today, God. I heal today, God. I say heal in this house on today, God. Somebody need a touch today, God. Somebody need to know that you are real. Ah, have mercy today, God. Touch that heart that has been broken. That mind that is confused, God. Open up the deaf ear, God. In the name of Jesus. Father, if you do this, we dare not take any glory. But we're going to praise you. We're going to magnify you. We're going to let you know that it's because of you, God, that we are. And all of God's people are putting those hands together and saying amen. Come on, bless the Lord in this house right now. Now be a good time to give God some praise. Amen. If you know that if he was the one that kept you, he was the one that healed you. He was the one that saved you. He was the one that delivered you. Amen. You ought to clap your hands like you're glad about it. Uh, if you're really glad about it, now come on, put your hands together. He kept my mind. For some of us, he kept our bodies. Somebody say, you don't know like I know. Come on, really look at somebody and tell them, you really don't know like I know what the Lord has truly Just since last Sunday, somebody went home to be with the Lord. Just since last Sunday, Somebody's in the convalescent home. Just since last Sunday, somebody lost a loved one. But had it not been for the goodness of Jesus, Hallelujah. 
you today. God bless our assisting pastors, all the elders, ministers, our mothers, our deacons, our missionaries. God bless you, first lady, first lady meritus. Amen. Thank God for the ushers. Amen. Thank God for the choir. Thank God for the music department. Amen. Come on, give yourselves a hand today. God wants to tell us something today. Did y'all hear what I said? I said, God wants to tell us something today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. In the book of Exodus, the 32nd chapter, We'll begin reading at 19, Exodus 32 and 19. Thank you, Jesus. And it came to pass as soon as he came nigh unto the camp that he saw the calf and dancing. Moses' anger waxed hot, and he cast the tables out of his hands and break them beneath the mount. And he took the calf which they had made and burned it in the fire, and ground it to powder, and stored it upon the water, and made the children of Israel drink of it. Moses said unto Aaron, What did this people unto thee that thou hast brought so great a sin upon them? Yeah, come on, Aaron said, Let not the anger of my Lord wax hot. Thou knowest the people that are set in mischief. For they said unto me, Make us gods small g, which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us out of the land of Egypt, we want not that what is become of him. And I said unto them, whosoever had any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it me. Then I cast it into the fire, and there came out this calf. And when Moses saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto the shame among their enemies. At 26 and final verse, Then Moses stood at the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And God's word is blessed. God's word is blessed. Hallelujah. Thank God. And again, this brand new year, the Lord is talking to us. Because I just believe what you do in the beginning can affect the end. I'll say that again. I said, what you start, huh? The way you start out can result how your end is going to turn out. Can somebody give the Lord a praise? We told you last Sunday, we asked you, amen, we gave you the thing, make the right choice. But I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, since you made a choice, Whose side are you on today? Come on, look at somebody and ask them the question. Since you made your choice, you made your choice. will you tell me whose side are you on? Side. My God, my God. Even Jesus himself said, I'd rather that you be hot 
or cold. Then the bee in the middle, then the bee in the middle, the bee, the bee twits in between. Don't know. Amen. Then the bee lukewarm. If you're hot and on fire, amen, the Lord can use you. Tell somebody he can use you. But if you're cold and opposite, amen, at least you know he knows where you stand. When I see, amen, on Sunday praising me, when I see you, amen, but then on Monday, amen, you act like you don't even know who I am. You're lukewarm. And, and, and so you have to take sides in life. Have you ever been, amen, in a place where you had to say, either I'm going to go left or I'm going to go right? How many people, amen, make poor decisions because they make them without a serious commitment to prayer? Yeah, there I go again talking about prayer. Yes, yes, I did say that again. Pray. Sometimes, amen, we forget how important prayer really is. I believe that is why, amen, the Lord impressed upon me this year when I made the statement, my motto, more prayer, more power. Come on, tell somebody, more prayer, more power. Yes, we must spend an adequate amount, amen, of time with God. Because when we spend a proper amount of time with God, God will show himself strong. And I can't say that enough. God will show himself strong in our lives. Yes, he will. Cause us to do right even when we want to do wrong. Oh, I'm talking to somebody this morning. Not only works, amen, things out for you on a spiritual basis, but God does some natural things for us too. Yeah, yeah, we need some natural things in this life. Amen, there are some things that we have need of. You're enjoying some natural benefits that comes from God. And every now and then, amen, you will hear me remind you that God is not just a spiritual God, not just a God that is concerned about your spirituality, amen, and of course he is, but God is focused also on the total man. He blesses your mind. He blesses your body. And he blesses your soul. Yes, Bless you naturally as well as spiritually. Yes, Saints, we have a God that loves us. Yes, amen. And when the children of Israel, amen, were in bondage for over 430 years, amen, it was Moses' life that touched God. Yes, it was Moses' ministry, amen, that God used. And God himself proved that he loved Israel because he himself, amen, was Israel's tour guide. He guided them. Good God Almighty. God himself didn't send nobody else, but God himself guided them. He led them by day by a pillar of a cloud. Led them by night, pillar of a fire. You know how a pillar of a cloud, amen, shield them from the intense heat, amen, that the sun, amen, would do. But it's also a sign and a symbol, amen, in the sky that every time you look up, you see a cloud, you see the presence of God. Tell somebody to hold your head up. And you'll see the presence of God. Ah, thank you, Jesus. That'd be a good place right there to give him thanks. Hallelujah. For I learned that that is a message in that. Instead of holding your head down, we must learn how to look up and see 
the presence of the Lord. Yes, yes. yes. He, he, he wasn't with them in a pillar of a cloud by day, amen, and then with them, amen, in a pillar of a fire by night. It was cool in the wilderness. But he showed himself strong and gave them fire to heat them in the wilderness, amen, and also as a symbol that I will be with you by day and by night. I thank God for the song. He never has left me alone. Somebody know what I'm singing about this. By day and by night. He's with me. Hey, somebody know, amen, that the Lord is with them all the time. Look at this. After, amen, all that God has done for Israel, you thought they would have been happy. As a matter of fact, amen, amen, you would have thought that they would have, amen, have had their little dance circles going on. You would have thought that they would have really been on fire for the Lord. But such is the nature of people that it doesn't take long for us to start mumbling and complaining. How many of y'all know some people like that? God just did it on yesterday. Now today, oh my God. And they even had the nerve to say, amen. Do you know anybody that, that has nerves in this house today? My God. You see, a whole lot of folks, yeah, they got nerves. And they said, we would, by the hand of the Lord, we wish that God would have left us in Egypt. Have mercy, Lord. Because in Egypt, at least, we had flesh pots. In Egypt, we had pots of meat to eat. And you brought us out here in the wilderness where there is no bread and there is no food. Oh, oh my God. You brought us out here seemingly to like, look like we're getting ready to die. And isn't it amazing how God can bless the people so much that they forget about the blessings of God when it gets tight. Amen. Tell somebody just for a little while. Just for a little while. Amen. And yes, we all have done it. Amen. All of us, amen, from the pulpit to the back door, we have done it. Amen. But God wants us to try to work on this thing and stop repeating the same process over and over and over again. Come on, tell somebody, stop the process. Stop the process. It's time to break that cycle and come out. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Oh God, I thank you today. Hallelujah. When things are tight, that God is still with you. Even when things look bad, God is still on your side. Even when you don't see a way, amen, you got to know that God is going to make a way of escape. You don't have to, amen, see a way, amen, but God can create a way. If God tells me to get ready to walk through that wall, I just got to start by faith. Because I know by the time I get to that wall, there's going to be a way made. God is just that kind of God. You really have the faith to trust God. How many you really have the faith enough to believe God is a man, God of His word? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I 
said, thank you, Jesus. I, I'm walking by faith, not by sight. I just believe God's word. He makes a way out of no way. And it is a constantly around me, coming up against Israel. And they're constantly coming against you and I. But God knows how to secure his own. Y'all tell somebody I belong to God this morning. Don't mess with me. He defeats nation after nation. Good God of mine. He beats Moses at Mount Sinai. Gave him instruction to give to the people of God. He tells Moses that I would, amen, you to come to the top of the mountain. But tell the people to stay at neither. Or to stay at the lower part, amen, of the mountain. Upon the mountain. He gives Moses the Ten Commandments that would, oh God bless your name, Jesus, indicate God's moral law. But the problem is that Moses stayed on the mountain too long, they felt. How now that it's bad when people feel that the leader is spending too much time too much time in prayer. Spending too much time down on his knees. Spending too much time, amen, giving to fasting and praying. Somebody will say, have mercy, Lord. Why does he pray so much? Why does he fast so much? Why is he closing himself out so much to be with God? Well, I'm glad you asked. Listen, don't you know a leader that knows God as his personal Savior? That knows God on a personal basis. I come to help somebody. Amen. Let me say this. Time spent with God is a benefit. It's a benefit, amen, for the individual. And it benefits those that are around him. You ought to touch somebody. You benefit from the man of God spending time with God. Come on, tell somebody. You benefit today. You see what is happening now is that you got a lot of people that want to be entertained. But I come to tell you that entertainment won't break shot. I come to tell somebody today, entertainment won't heal your sin sick soul. I need to let the devil in hell know today that entertainment won't destroy yokes. Entertainment won't destroy your burdens. For the only thing that is left on record that destroys yokes, tell somebody, is the anointing. Have mercy, Lord. Saints, now is a good time for you to look at somebody and ask them the question. <laughs> Whose side are you on? Come on, come on, look at somebody and ask them the question. Whose side are you on? I don't know about you today, but I'm leaning on the Lord's side. When I lean to my right, I'm leaning in the arms of Jesus. When I lean to my left side, I'm leaning in the arms of Jesus. Good God Almighty, I don't know about you this morning, but I'm so glad. I said I'm so glad I chose to be on the Lord's side because it makes me mighty happy. I'm so glad. I'm on the Lord's side because it makes me mighty happy. Well, I've already been to the water. I've already been baptized. And I feel, I feel all right this morning. I said I feel all right this morning because I'm resting in the arms of Jesus. 
And in the arms of Jesus, no more pain. In the arms of Jesus, no more stresses. In the arms of Jesus, no more worry about what my future holds. I'm resting. I said, I'm resting. I'm resting. In the arms of Jesus, it's so confident to know that when you get up in the morning, a way has already been made. When I go to my job, I don't have to wear it because the paycheck is already there. When I go and sit at the table, I don't wear it because the food has already been prepared. I said, I'm resting. I'm resting in the arms of Jesus. That's why it's important for you that have not made the Lord your choice this second Sunday in a brand new year. I admonish you today. It's time. I say it's time to give your heart to Jesus. It's time to sell out for the Lord. It's time to stop being lukewarm. It's time to stop walking crookedly. It's time. The love flows because God is in control. A church where God is really real. Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. Sunday evening Pentecostal service, 7 p.m. Midweek service, Thursday, 7